Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the finest games that I have played with the Karokan. And now this was played uh, just some time back, eight minutes ago to be precise. I was playing here as black of course, open starts with e4, I go with c6, open plays b4, here comes d5, open plays uh, the advanced variation of the Karokan going into e5, advancing the pawn. Uh, if exchange happens, it's just exchange variation. If the knight comes out, that's the main line in the Karakan. But advanced one is the most challenging. And how you deal with it? Uh, you just develop the bishop to f5 first, open plays f4 here, and then you go with e6. So that your pawn structure is solid, your bishop is out of the pawn chain, which could have been a weakness, and now you are ready to develop your way. Here, open goes with knight to f3. I go with knight to d7. Here, open plays bishop d3, trying to offer bishop exchange, and I'm happy to do so because light square bishop is my weakness, and open strong bishop is the light square. So I'll take it here, open takes back with the queen, and now I go for c5. c5 is an interesting choice here. Open can take and allow me to uh, take it with the knight, attacking the queen. Uh, can I, I can also take with the bishop. If the open is castle, that comes with a check as well. Uh, and after the c file gets opened up, I can get my rook in the c file and have a nice attack with the rook as well. Open plays c3 here, not to take the pawn. And here I play a6, preventing open from playing queen to b5, which can be troublesome at times, spinning the knight, attacking the pawn, trying to create some pressure, but why allow that? So playing a6, open plays bishop e3, so that if now I take, there's a lot of defenders uh, already, if you see. So there's no problems for the opponent. Here I went with rook to c8 first. Uh, open plays knight to a3, which allows me to now take the pawn because next move is bishop taking the knight and that would result in spoiling the pawn structure as well. Open takes with the pawn. I take the knight. Open takes back with the queen. That's a nice idea. Not spoiling the pawn structure, but that allows me to play a knight to b6. Now I'm preparing to go with a knight to c4 which, sorry, uh, I'm bad with arrows, uh, attacking the bishop and the queen simultaneously. Also a pawn just in case. So it's a good square. So open prevents me from placing my knight there by placing b3. And here comes knight to e7. Uh, why so? I want to castle as well. And queen was in the way. And I couldn't have castled. So that's why developing it on e3 instead of going for h6, which is anyways passive. Here open castles. And so do I. It's move number 14, development is done, C file is opened up, and I have the control of the open file. So I should be the one driving this game forward. Uh, open plays a knight to g5. Here I play a knight to f5, attacking the bishop and the pawn, of course. So open has to place it backwards if the open wants to save it. Or the open can save with the rook as well, which the open does by placing it on e1. Here I try to kick the knight backwards. Knights can be troublesome if around your king, so I just want to kick it backwards. There's no way that open will be sacrificing it for a pawn. Uh, doesn't make sense because there's no attack going on, so open has to retrieve. So it was a waste of move by the open getting the knight to f uh, to g5 first and then back to f3. Here I go with rook to c3, attacking the bishop now twice, which is defended once, trying to get my rook active. Open plays bishop to d2, attacking my rook, and now rook goes to c2 attacking the bishop again. Open brings the bishop to a5, pinning my uh, knight for the time being. And the idea may be to get the queen next and attack my knight and win the knight easy. Uh, but I had a backup. Uh, the rook can always come back and defend. That was my plan. But I thought, OK, let me do some counter attack instead. I have a lot of pieces in the vicinity. I got my queen to c7 instead, doubling up here on the c file. I am. I can even triple up if required. Open gives attacks with me with the rook to come coming to c1. And here, uh, in this moment, I thought if I take, open takes back, uh, and then I have to move my queen, which only can go to d7. And eventually, my open will place the queen uh, onto uh, maybe even b4 and win the knight easy. So in this case, I thought, okay, let me do something else about it. Thanks to the knight being there on f. Uh, 5 already. I went with knight to e3, attacking the open's rook, also attacking, uh, saving my rook with another piece now. 
So I will have an option to take with which piece I want to. Also, what it does is after open takes with the rook, now I decide not to take with the knight because eventually my knight can be pinned by keeping the rook there. I take it with the queen. Now you might be thinking that the knight is hanging, open can simply take, but no, because queen takes on g2 will be a checkmate thanks to the knight standing there. And I'm also pressurizing the knight right, uh, the rook right now. And open has to save the checkmate first. So here comes a rook to f2. And whenever rook is moved to save the checkmate, it allows uh, me to go down to the first rank and give a check again from queen to uh, d1. Of course, I couldn't have gone to c1 because queen was backwards defending that square. Yes, uh, b1 was uh, another option, but more closer to the king is better. So I just went with d1. Now open gets the knight in between. And in a, in a, in a moment of hurry, I can simply take it thinking that, okay, after that open has to just, it's checkmate, but no, bishop's reverse diagonal, have to be careful, open is saving that knight as well with the bishop, so now comes the next move, which is knight moving to d7, making sure that there's no pin happening, and now I'm ready to get my rook in the c file, and down to the attack into the scene right now, open gets queen to b2, uh, which also defends the pawn here, on d4, which was hanging with the queen, which could have been my next target as well. So, and, and queen comes to the defenses as well of the rook here. Uh, here I get my rook on the c8, uh, c5, open file. Open gets the bishop backwards, attacking the knight, trying to trade off the bishop for the knight so that open gets to have an advantage. Uh, there's no much pressure remaining. But point is, if the open does take, I can simply take this and then open has to defend with the rook and then I can take the other piece as well. So I'll be winning two pieces if the open does trade. Here I get got uh, had this another move coming, which was rook to c2. Now attacking the queen and the bishop. And remember, the bishop is not defended apart from the rook. So once the queen moves from here, the bishop will be falling. Well, that's what happens. I take the bishop. Now open can take with the rook and lose the game immediately. And in fact, that's what happens. And that's a checkmate when queen takes the knight. So it was an easy one from there on. Uh, I didn't analyze this game yet. Uh, I thought we'll do it with everyone when I'm recording it. So uh, yeah, let's see how, how, how good or how bad the position was throughout. Uh, Black was winning here. Check was the right move. Uh, could have gone with the knight. But I saved my knight first, got the rook in track, and bishop backwards was the game changer move. 7.2 in favor of black suddenly. Uh, let's do a quick stockfish analysis as well and see how much bad the average centipon looks like. Can, of course, vary. Uh, it's on the higher side, but if you saw the game properly when I was showing it, uh, it doesn't, didn't look like I'm in trouble at all throughout hardly uh, some small favors inside of black in white. Uh, this was plus four after I got my queen here. What was the best move? i okay, kick my knight away so that there's no other option by with my knight. But open went with rook exchange there. And that was the problem. Uh, spotting this kind of move, trying to kick the knight away by placing g4, which weakens up your king side structure, is a computer move. You will not see that often people playing that much often. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.